Hi, I'm Emily from Scotland. Ever since I was a kid, I've been sure of two things. I'm adopted, and my parents are big, fat liars. Also, I think I know who my real mom is. But before I continue, please like and subscribe. My sisters and I are triplets, except Daisy and Rose have red hair, green eyes, and freckles, just like my parents. But I'm blonde and blue-eyed. I look nothing like my family. On our third birthday, when my parents invited all the neighbors, everyone was staring at me like I was some exotic zoo animal. Wow, she looks like an angel. So different from her sisters. She's gorgeous. Kind of makes up for the other two, eh? Just then, my sisters came charging at me with a ketchup bottle and squirted it all over my head. There, now you look more like us. I also discovered soon that my sisters were super dumb, so we couldn't be related. Once I told them if they buried their pocket money, a whole tree would come out, and they did. Months later, when they said their money wasn't growing, I burst out <laughs> laughing, and they attacked me. You awful witch! I wish you were our sister. I'm not, you fools. I'm adopted. My parents looked like I slapped them. Who taught you that word, Emily? Do you know what it means? Mom, Dad, I read books, and I'm not stupid. Stop reading rubbish. You're our daughter, and that's the truth. But I wasn't buying it. I was always imagining who my real parents might be, and if they'd come for me someday. Someone rich and famous, I hoped. In the seventh grade, I was reading in the lounge one day when my sisters walked in with suitcases. You were right, Emily. You are adopted, and your real mom's here for you. What are you talking about? Haven't you seen the lady who's moved in next door? She looks exactly like you. So take your things and leave. I just ignored those morons. But suddenly, they grabbed me by my arms and legs and threw me out. I was banging furiously on the door when I heard someone behind me. Oh, hello. I'm your new neighbor. When I turned around, we both <gasps> gasped. Oh my god. This woman did look like me. And she was staring at me like I was a ghost. Suddenly, she turned and ran away. What just happened? I had to find out more about her. I tried spying on her with binoculars, but her curtains were always closed. One day I baked some cookies and took them to her as a welcome present, but no one opened the door. As I was walking away, I saw her looking at me from a window. Was she avoiding me? One evening at the library, I was so lost in my book that I didn't realize it was so late. I started walking home, but as I went further, everything looked unfamiliar. I was feeling a bit lost and scared, when suddenly a toothless woman jumped out of an alley and grabbed my wrist. <gasps> What a pretty girl you are, <laughs> just like me. Let's go home. Let go of me, you mad cow. That's no way to talk to your mother. Just then, an egg came flying out of nowhere and hit the woman in the eye. She yelled in pain and I turned around to see my neighbor hitting her with more eggs. The crazy woman ran away cursing us. I thanked my neighbor for saving me and she said she'd take me home. As we were walking back, she suddenly spoke. I am sorry I ran away that day. I was just a bit startled because you remind me of someone. I'm Gladys. Just then, Gladys saw the book in my hand and it turned out she was a huge Shakespeare fan too. She invited me in for dinner and we talked about books for hours. This woman could totally be my mom. The next night, I'd just fallen asleep when I woke up gasping as water hit my face. Wake up, sleeping moron. The neighbor's here to take you away. Wait, what? I ran downstairs and peeked into the study to find mom screaming at Gladys. Are you crazy? Emily is our daughter. We don't want you to talk to her. Just stay away from her, lady, or else. Now get out of my house. Gladys ran out in tears, and I was stunned. What weren't they telling me? Could Gladys really be my mom? The next morning at breakfast, as mom and dad were acting completely normal, I snapped and pushed my cereal bowl off the table. Are you just going to keep lying to me forever? Why was Gladys here last night? And what are you hiding? I already know I'm adopted. So why can't you just say it? Is she my mom? You are not adopted. You listen to me, Emily. I don't know what that woman's been telling you, but she is crazy. You are not to go near her ever again, understood? I kicked my chair aside and stormed off. Gladys hadn't even told me anything, but I was surely gonna ask her now. That night, once everyone was asleep, I climbed out my window and landed softly below. The second I turned around, I screamed and fell back in fright. Mom was sitting on a lawn chair, trying to kill me with her cold stare. If you don't stay away from Gladys, I'll tell the police she's dangerous and I'll get a restraining order. If you don't want me to do that, I suggest you climb back up that window right now. I wasn't going to argue with her. She was like a psycho. I had no chance to meet Gladys because Mom was watching me like a hawk. But thankfully, summer break ended soon 
and I could finally leave the house. My sisters and I had joined a new middle school, and as soon as we entered the building, Daisy and Rose suddenly pinned me against the wall. Just stay away from us here, okay? Don't tell anyone that we are related to you. I was about to spit at them when suddenly a bunch of boys surrounded us and pulled the two away. Why are you tomato heads hurting the prettiest girl in the school? You want us to throw them in the trash, Goldilocks? I told the boys to let them go this month, and my sisters gave me death stares as they stormed off. But these boys were just stuck to me like glue all day. They were offering to carry my bag, make my notes in class. At recess, I excused myself for the bathroom and sprinted off to the library instead. I needed some peace. As I walked in, I bumped straight into someone with a tall pile of books, and I saw who was behind them. Gladys? Emily, what are you doing here? It turned out she was the school librarian. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Listen, I really need to know what you and my parents... No, Emily, stop. I, I can't talk to you. I think it's best if you stay away from me. I'm sorry. And with that, she hurried away. Arr! I was losing my mind. But I wasn't giving up so easily. I went back the next day and walked up to her desk. I won't ask you any questions, I promise. But can we please just be friends again? I'll only talk about books. Gladys slowly smiled at me. And after that, we started hanging out every day. My dumb sisters would never set foot in the library, so I was safe. And I would slowly get closer to Gladys and the truth. One day she invited me to play, so I told mom I'd be working on a science project with my group, and we spent an amazing evening together. Later at dinner, I told her about the shy boy Jonas in my class I wanted to ask out on Valentine's Day, and she smiled. Of course, you have to do with the Shakespeare sonnet. There's nothing more romantic. Thanks, Ma- I mean Gladys. Later that night, I practiced the sonnet in my room. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more- just then, Mom walked in and asked me what I was doing, and I told her I was working on asking out a boy. With a freaking sonnet? Who needs Shakespeare when you have Taylor Swift? Just say to him, If you could see that I'm the one who understands you Been here all along, so why can't you see? You belong with me You belong with me And she was doing dance moves that made me laugh so hard! Mom was funny. <laughs> Let's go shopping tomorrow, and I'll buy you a dress to knock this boy's socks off. We did, and we had such a fun time together. Yay! I came home with bags of clothes and shoes, and my sister's faces turned as red as their hair. I had to admit, I was enjoying this two moms thing. And, well, I did ask Jonas out simply by saying, Wanna go out with me? And he said yes! <laughs> that was easy! A few weeks later, I heard a loud tap on my window at night, and Jonas was standing outside. I let him in, and we started making out in the dark. Just then my door flung open, and someone came flying at us, knocking us down to the ground. What are you trying to do now? Kidnap my daughter? Mom, get off of him! It's just my boyfriend! Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I saw someone walking across the garden and I panicked. Come downstairs, boy. I'll give you a cookie. But Jonas screamed like a little girl and ran out the window at lightning speed. I was so mad at Mom for scaring him off. When I told Gladys all about it the next day, she said, Oh, you and Jonas can always come to my house whenever you want to, you know, hang out. We took her up on the yacht for one evening, and she let us in through the back door. As we went to one of the rooms upstairs and started kissing, my eyes suddenly fell on a photo frame. It was Gladys with a toddler, who looked so much like me. Was it me? She gave me up when I was two or three years old? Why didn't I remember anything? Just then, I saw something much worse. The curtains were freaking open, and someone was staring right at us from my house. My stupid sisters! They grinned at me and ran off immediately. Oh no, no! Seconds later, I heard screams from downstairs. I ran downstairs to find mom and Gladys rolling around on the ground, pulling each other's hair. I told you to stay away from my daughter! She's also my daughter! Why don't you let her decide? I think she likes me more. Just stop this! You guys, I need answers now! All you need to know is that I'm your mother. No, I am! Oh my god! I need DNA tests from you both! And they both refused and started fighting again. This was ridiculous! I charged straight at them and I pulled a few hairs out of their heads. Ow! I'm getting the test done. And then I'll know. As I was running out the door, they both screamed. Okay, I'm not your mother! I turn around in shock. Now suddenly they both weren't my mothers? And finally, they started telling me the truth. My mom said that I was her sister's daughter. We both had kids around the same time. 
but she felt really sick after giving birth to you. And she made me swear that I never let you know you're not mine. And you are mine. Emily, you're my blood. My eyes swelled up when I found out my real mom was gone. <laughs> and who are you, Gladys? Suddenly, she broke down into tears. <laughs> I had a daughter who looked just like you, but she had an accident a few years ago, and when I met you, it felt like I had my baby back. I tried to stay away from you, but I couldn't. That night, I came to ask your parents if I could adopt you, and of course, they refused. I... I just miss my daughter so much. As I looked at them both, I realized they'd both lost people they dearly loved, and I could make them both hurt a little less. I love you, Mom. And I'm sure you're as good as mom as my own would have been. And Gladys, I love you too. And you can always think of me as your daughter. Well, now I finally know who my real mom is. And I've got two really amazing ones too. And turns out, I am related to my sisters. They're just my dumb cousins now. <laughs>